It's a beautiful morning. Praise God. Matthew 26, 36, and 39. We find Jesus in these verses. The Bible says, Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. The disciples of Jesus Christ, they just did not get what Jesus was trying to uh, relay or convey to them. They just did not get it. What Jesus Christ was saying did not make any sense to them. Now what am I referring to? In spite of the three times Jesus predicted his upcoming death and resurrection, all the disciples heard was death. All they uh, thought was his uh, was his passing away, yung kanyang kamatayan. And uh, they, they were thinking that Jesus was going to be killed. He's not going to be around. He would be gone forever. And this grieved them greatly. Yung part na Jesus would rise victoriously, rising from the dead, just didn't sink in. They missed it. But what the disciples didn't understand, Jesus did. You know, at this time, crucifixion was commonplace. Jesus knew what he would face. And at Gethsemane, he was terrified. Did you, have you observed in his prayer? If it be possible, let this cup be, be taken from me. If it be possible. The Bible says that in the moments leading up to his arrest, Jesus' uh, anxiety and fear were so great that his uh, sweat was like drops of blood. Jesus even asked his father to remove this, yet not my will, but, but yours. But yours be done, he prayed. You know, this is the greatest example of faith and prayer in history. God gave Jesus extraordinary power to move ahead in faith and endure the cross. You see, we see from the life of Jesus Christ that sometimes the, the, the mountains we face don't move. Okay, What we want to be taken out stays there. Now instead... What happens is that he, he gives, God gives that supernatural power. Okay? He gives his sufficient grace, enabling grace for us to have the strength to climb. Not remove the mountain, but to climb up that mountain and get past it. So, in faith, we climb day in and day out. Now, let me ask you, ano bang bundok or ano bang mountain ang nasa harapan mo ngayon? Ang dapat mong akyatin? Is it fear of the pandemic? Is it a prolonged illness? Is it a broken relationship? A problem at work that appears insurmountable and you don't see a way out. Listen, we can boldly face any challenge in this life because nothing, nothing is impossible with God. Amen? 
Because when we have the power of God on our side, we know that the most incredibly difficult times can ultimately end in triumph. God can do that because He is the God of unlimited power. Even when the mountains don't move, God will make a way. Either He would strengthen you, He would take it out, He would pull that mountain out of its position, He could, he could give you the, the energy to get past it. God can do something great that will make us triumphant and victorious. Good morning, and the Lord bless you.